Making a game is easier when you have a recipe. In this video, we are going to enrich the gameplay by improving the player's vertical movement. For that, we will allow the player to jump through level areas both up and downwards. This video is sponsored by the Platform Essential Recipes ebook. Have fun the boss battle recipe pre ordering the ebook before December the 1st. Link in the description. This type of mechanic is important in many situations, but as an example, you can see the Flurry of Fury boss battle on Cuphead. Notice how the ability to switch grounds is essential in this battle. To start with, I will import the pass through player to the recipe from the platform essential recipes. You can see that on top of being an ebook, it also works as an asset, almost like a platformer template. I should definitely raise the price after the campaign. To implement this mechanic without much friction, I will just change the inheritance in the king pig from the basic moving player to the pass through player. This kind of interchangeable behavior is based on the strategy pattern, where we create a family of algorithms with the same interface and make them interchangeable while adding or changing their behavior. The pass-through player requires that we point out which is the collision layer that it should consider as a passable through layer. I'll leave the default one, which is the second layer, but I'm going to rename it as pass-through. I will also toggle on the collision mask on that layer. Now that we have our player set up, it will be able to jump through anything that is inside the pass-through layer. So I will create a new scene, I will make sure that it doesn't mask any layer, and it is inside only the pass-through collision layer. To allow the player to jump through the platform upwards, I will also toggle on the one-way collision property on the collision polygon 2D. So it's time to test this out. So if I hold down the down key and press the jump action, the character will jump down through the platforms. I can control when it collides again by releasing the down key. Note that this implementation works with any collision body that is inside the pass-through layer. So we can get really creative with that and create levels with some vertical complexity where the player can access secret areas or hiding pits. This was made using the first recipe from the Platform Essential Recipes ebook. There are only three custom recipes rewards left, so hurry up! Now that we have some interesting movement in place, let's work on some mechanics. In the next video, we are going to create platforms that move so we can create interesting platforming puzzles to test the player's hand-eye coordination. That's it, thank you so much for watching, keep developing and until the next time.